Welcome to DC Source Live. It's your boy, Big Dream. You know what I mean? We got a special guest tonight. We got my boy, Espo G from Philly. From It Is Big What Philly. It Is. Let him, hey, holler at him, man. Let him know who you are. Make the hood rich, baby. It is what it is, man. That's 4G. Make the hood rich, baby. You know what I mean? Philly know what it is, man. Philly yeah. know what it is, man. Shout out to my city. You know what I mean? And salute the big dream. You already know, man. Oh, it is what it good. is, man. Oh, it's all good, baby. You know we get down, you know, ever since, like, like I said, the Cheerio days, man. <laughs> uh, I like hey, it is shit. what it is, man. It is what it is, man. Hey, that should have slept on the track, though, dog. You re you went in on that shit. You went in on that shit. I fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? I played hey. that shit for like a month. <laughs> hey, I appreciate that, man. But you know, at the yeah. end of the day, man, everybody knows me in my city, man. They know what I represent, man. I just want it all together, sticking together, supporting each other. But you know, at the end of the day, we men. And we all kings under God, kings and queens. So sooner or later, we're going to clash sometimes. We're going to clash. It's about how you do and how you address it. You know what I mean? Yeah, just yeah. like Meek did. Just like Meek did. No matter what nobody said, no matter however, whatever. What do you do? He just dissed him back. It is what yeah, it yeah. is. At the end of the day, and look what it, the outcome came out for them, man. You yeah, understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, but at yeah. the end of the day, we all men. We all men. Any, any other time a cat can get up there and say what he want to say, right? Yeah, Vent yeah. as much as he want. He, he don't care. So what makes you different than me? That's what it is, man. But at the end of the day, everybody know me, man. They know I'm going to come and be something come in love, but at the same time, they already know. Bars. Hell yeah. I'm ready to go. Hey, that shit ready was, to go. That shit was dope, my nigga. I was bumping that shit. I'm telling you. The beat was hard. You... You did a whole track without cussing. I was like, damn, this motherfucker going this hard? He ain't even cuss? That shit was hard, dog. I played that shit. I pushed Glory that. Glory be to God. Hell yeah, that shit was hard, man. I, I would have loved to see him respond. And uh, y'all go back and forth a little bit. But, you know, you know, you know how it be, man. Motherfuckers don't want to respond sometimes. You know, they feel you like You already know how it go. Hell yeah. You already know how it is. Oh, like, like if you listen, if you look at the other videos and all that, when I broke down the the Instagram messages and stuff like that, if you look at that and peeped all that and everything that I told you, it all started for me just letting him know that you now I'm mean, reminding and refreshing his memory of us praying with each other. Yeah, yeah. And he made it seem like you know, like I was a you know a fan or something. Like, oh, you were just <laughs> over my people's crib. He was over my oh, family house <laughs> praying with me. Then I got I got to think about it. First of all, all glory be the guy. Yeah. I prayed with the brother. Okay, but at the end of the day, you know, all glory, God gets all that glory. But when it comes to you acting like you know, like 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 as if I need you, you're you know what I mean? Like I right. I, I need to tell you that I prayed with you just for you to give me some type of attention. You tripping? <laughs> That was a liar, man. So, with that being said, we exchanged words, and it was like you know he put the laugh out loud and stuff in there, but little slurs he put in there, put in Mr. Nobody, be risky and all that. Now that's okay. Sherry yo. That's why I said at the beginning of John, I said yeah, shout out to Mr. Nobody. Mosquito gave me that name. That's why I said it. But at the end of the day, as you can hear. I'm laughing. I'm having fun. I'm just having oh, yeah. fun with it. Because I don't hate it. It's no hate. It's no, you know, I, I was reaching out, showing love in the, from the beginning. You understand what I'm saying? I was showing oh, yeah. love from the beginning. Hey. So it's like, at the end of the day, it's just about somebody showing, like, pride. Like, pride over everything. It's like, come on. It shouldn't even went that far. Right. When you know this person was showing you love from the rip, come on, man. Or was it just you want to monetize and get that monetization money? I've been noticing that. You know what I mean? So if you want to do that, that, huh? I've been noticing that about, oh, like he getting these beats and then next thing you know, you got like four or five videos. Like he got a beef right now with uh, his partner, Sparks, right? That's what I'm talking about. 
That's why I fell back. Because I'm like, I right. see your pattern. You're not going to make me look like a troller or somebody just trying to use somebody's name. No. No. Yeah, I yeah. seen a little stuff. I'm, I could have talked about it. I could have talked about it. I said, no, I'd rather move on. I'd rather move on. Because this... I put it out there. We both know what it was. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? And that's why at the end of the day, I let you know, look, you can meet up with me up every ad. Mm -hmm. I did a video. You can meet up with me up every ad. Like men, meet up with me. I'm be out here all day. I'm letting you know the date, posting and everything. Because at, at the end of the day, that's how real men do. Hell yeah. <laughs> and did a video letting them know that yeah. I was out there. You understand what I'm saying? Hell but at yeah. the end of the day, I made sure it's, you know, a real man does that. Puts it out there. Look, at the end of the day, we own the city then. Let's get this money. For sure. Let's get this money. That's what real men do. Same hey, way look, as I put look. it out there, we get bam, hit the track. Same way as on that note, we get money. Right. Other than that, bar, spar, high. But this, at the end of the day, it's about feeding our families, man. You That's know, what it's about. You know what, though? I mean, real street MCs got to stick together right now, dog. I know, I know. you know, it's been disagreements, you know, things like that. But I, like I was telling you off air, man, they got a plot to destroy the street MC. And they starting with Meek Mill. They start with Meek. And, you know, I know he represents Philly. So, and you know Philly's all street MCs mostly, right? You got a few hip-hop heads and you got, you know, you do your thing, right, what you do. But like, y'all all street base. Y'all come from the streets, and they trying to kill that man. They trying to kill it. All of them. They trying. All to kill of us. At the end of the, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, like I said, we all just trying to live comfortably with our families and get up out of here, man. Get yeah, them up yeah. out of here. That's all we trying to do. That's why Nick whole rap be about. He finally made it out of here. And I salute you for supporting them, man. Shout out right. to DC Source, all of that. I support you for rocking out with me the way you do. You know what I'm saying? My whole thing just I just wanted me to just, you know what I'm saying? You need more. That's what that's what I feel like Meek messed up. Being mm -hmm. up under Drake and all them like that. I know he got his family and all that. And he's a grown man, but at the end of the day, I know he thought about that too. Mm -hmm. All that bit when he was with Drake and and, and all that other, other crap. The mm -hmm. next minute, all that stuff escalated. If mm -hmm. he was dominating with the city like that, I feel like automatically that stuff would have been handled. They'd have been the on his city head. Just that. They'd have been on his head, you know what right? I mean? You get you get yeah, all those Philly spitters time, together. Yeah, they'd be on his head. They'd have been on that fool. Right. Head. But at the same time, you know what? Mm -hmm. At the same time, they know we still riding and we spoke out about it and some did do track. But at the right. end of the day, when it comes down to he's he's his own man, but I like how he broke it down with wins and losses. Man, that went. I hey, like how he broke it down. That wins and uh, losses, man. That wins and losses about to be a classic, dog. You're gonna be proud of this one, though. I'm telling you. I've heard damn near yeah. every track, a, at least a piece. That shit about to be out of fight. Body save me. <laughs> save me. He put that off. That ain't even make the cut. Hey, that's that song amazing. He didn't made make the cut. cut me. It made the cut with me, right. and that young black America. Oh, you know, young hey, S O G, check this track out. Next time you do a reaction for me, do bag talk. Yeah, that shit remind me of some Tupac shit. Man. Listen, yeah, 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 yeah. That shit go yeah. hard. That shit like some bean mixed with Tupac. A little bit of Gilly in there. Like, you know, I fuck with Gilly, man. I fuck with Gilly. Like, right. when I was little, when My I was boy. young. Hell yeah, Gilly, Gilly, dude, Gilly Gilly wrote all that Wayne shit back in the day. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. <laughs> Look, <laughs> they got listen. That. Hey. <laughs> listen, make sure, make sure that all your fans know. Or, hey, hey, listen, you yeah. already know what it's in for. Make yeah. sure you let them know. Check out. Gilly the Kid, Blood Brother movie. You know what I mean? You and I play that. a funeral scene, yeah, man. You Other than that, the streets already on fire in Philly. And they can go yeah. to Gilly the Kid Instagram and go and click on the link in his bio and go straight to the movie. Bet. You know what I mean? Okay. Purchase the movie right there. Gilly getting all that money. Ain't that's my boy. He ain't stupid. 
Okay. You can check me out on the scene, man. It's right. reckless. It's the new belly. It's the new belly, but with a twist. I mean, I ain't, I ain't gonna stick too much more. Is it, hey, is it where I'm is it? Where, where can we find it? Where can we find it? I suppose you. Where can you can go it? to bloodbrother.com. Bloodbrother.com. Right bloodbrother.com. Or you can go to Gilly the Kid Instagram. If you go to Gilly the Kid Instagram, right. right, it's at Gilly the Kid underscore Gilly the Kid underscore King. Okay. The King. Uh, or you can go to his Twitter. They know. They the whole Philly know. All yeah. over know. I'm putting, you go to I'm Twitter putting at Gilly the Kid. But other than that, other than that, you just put Gilly the Kid and in, 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 in Instagram, you'll find it. But go to his bio and click the link in his bio to take you straight to the movie. All right. Shout out to my boy Gilly the Kid. You know what it's sitting for. The after party was crazy. I'm going to be posting about that. Okay. Oh, hey, I'm on it. I'm about to watch that shit this weekend, man. I'm about to watch that. You know, I fuck with Gilly, dog. I, I fuck with that. You know my favorite Gilly track, that uh, King Me. That's my shit. King Me, nigga. You know what I'm talking about. He shot the video That's in North Philly. Work. I fuck with that. I fuck with that. But, uh... Um, That's that work. Hell yeah, that shit that... Dude, Gilly got that... You know what? Gilly was Pusha T before Pusha T really blew up, though. To me. He got that slick talk. You know what I mean? So I fuck with Gilly yeah. hard. I did like a top five Philly MC list. I put Gilly. I was like debating. Boy, shout out to my boy Deshi Man. Shout out to Reese. Reese Rolex. Shout out to Bump. You know what I mean? Shout out to Ab yeah. Live. Got, got to meet him. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And shout out to Bianca. I never got to, I never met Bianca yet, but we followed each other and add each other on, on stuff on, on, on site. On sites and stuff like that, but other than that, salute to her anyway. But I mean, definitely salute to Fado. You know what I mean, another brother I'm supposed to have been to the track with, but okay. he's locked up right now. He he'll be home in a second. You know what I mean, shout out to Fado. Shit, shout out to Pop, man. shout out to the whole Philly man. Shout out to home. Philly. Shout out to Philly man. He's the Philly cousin Wallow just came home. Was doing what he do? What 10, 15, How many years he been? Twenty years? He did something crazy, man. Let's go to Gilly. Y'all, y'all know what it's hitting for with Gilly, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I fuck just with Google Gilly. Gilly if you don't know him, and make sure when y'all go through, check out what he got popping, man. Check out that Blood Brother movie, and ask anybody in Philly about it. It's killing the city. And, and check out Gilly the Kid, Hip Hop since 1987.com. Check out check out that new video he just did talking about Blood Brother movie. Like I said, I do a few scene in that. We killing the streets on the love. All me gotta do is keep doing his thing. Me, me, me doing what he's supposed to do. Hell yeah. He taking that yeah, shit he national, got, man. He taking it so, national. That's why it pisses me off the way they trying to, to, to suppress him. The media's trying to suppress him. I, you know what I mean? It's just some bullshit. But he, he gonna push through. He gonna push through that shit. You know? Yeah. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I want me, I want everybody to get money, but nobody can't be looking down at each other. I want me, Oskino, Meek Mill, everybody to get money. I want us all to be dominating tracks together. But it can't be no I and C and C E A M. It can't be no I and team. It can't be one person feeling like you should be less than me. Let's all mm -hmm. get money, man. Let's yeah. all get money. Let's all support our families, man. So what's about, homie? Don't nobody look. Yeah. That's, huh? what that's what it's about, man. Get that money. Get that money. Yeah, Y'all yeah. men, men gonna express their feelings. Everybody else can do it. All right, it is what it is. Let's get this money. But at the same time, come on, man. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. We gotta make these hits. We gotta, we gotta get this. We gotta get this money. This is what sure. it is. Forget handouts and all that, man. Hell yeah. For real. You you just um tell me tell them what you're working on huh? right now. You I heard you, you said you were working on a project. You told me you was working on a project. Let, work let them know. Right now I'm working on Death of Devil Music 2. Right now. Death of Devil Music 1 sells out in Philly like crazy. Sells out in the streets. All right. Shout out to everybody, all of them Philly bought it, and people from out of the country. Oh my God, from England, different areas is buying it. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I got proof all of my PayPal and everything else, man. I, I, I thank God for that. But other than that, in the streets, a billion sells out. I thank God for that. If my city don't play, they will boo you in a minute. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Good, man. Um, but that's what makes us who we are, man. That's what makes us sharper. Just like just like Meek said, man. What, what's the loss to y'all? Because going to jail and stuff like that is a loss to me. Right. You know sure. what I mean? Yeah, Other sure. than that, I'm winning. As long as I'm able to smile with my family and we happy and stuff like that, I'm winning. Mm -hmm. That's real. Dude, that sounds like CP faith not by sight to me. Like, mm -hmm. like, like, come on. Look at it. Basically, over everything, look at what you came out of. You tell me who winning and who losing. Right. You know what I mean, to the person that trying to say, for the person that tries to say that you're losing. You know what I mean? Right. Hey. He winning right now. I mean, look, we we working, uh, you know, as a fan base, we trying to get him over the top. Because, I mean, what's good for Meek is going to be good for Philly. What's going to be good for the hood MCs. Because they trying to, I'm telling you, they trying to, they got a plot. I know. I got inside sources telling me they trying to destroy. They don't want another, let me, let me put it this way. They don't want another Jay-Z. They don't want another pop. Right. They don't want another biggie. They don't want Dr. Dre coming from nothing to having a billion dollars. They don't want that. Right. They want the guys they got. Like when you talk about your boy Drake, you got a guy that they write all the rhymes for. They make all the beats for him. They put millions of right. dollars. They, his, you go to Apple Music, Meek album is on the front of Apple Music like this big. It's like like a small square. When Drake album Is come up, he got the whole page. Right? They created them. So that's what they want. They want guys they can control that's not going to run up in them offices right. with 20 guys like, where's my money? Right? They want guys to go right. be like, look, you take a rain check. <laughs> oh, man, my phone. Yo, my phone going dead on me. Oh, that's for so good. That's good, man. Give them one more shout out. Let them know your channel. Let them know how to get to your channel, bro. So, you know, if they want to check you out. I think we might have lost S4G. I think we might have lost him. Anyway, that was S4G. Uh, you might have heard of his channel. It is what it is. He has some uh, difficulties with the phone. Hold on. Let me uh, find his channel so y'all can be plugged to it. Um, you know, he's S4G. It is what it is. Opinion show. He came in, you know, wanted to, I just wanted to get kind of like a little bit of Philly insight on some of the stuff that's going down right now, right? You got a lot of fuckery going on, right? I know his phone died. You know, we lost S4G. It's all good. I want to thank S4G for coming on, giving us some time. Uh, you know, like I say, he's in the he's in the new uh, Gilly the Kid Blood Brothers movie. He also got some projects coming out. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. It is what it is, Opinion Show. I watch his channel. You know, when I want to know what's going on on the streets of Philly, right? I'm talking about the streets of Philly. I go to I go to S4G channel, man. He, he keeps it real. You know, he gives, he gives unbiased opinion, dog. So check him out. I fuck with him. It's okay. Now, I want to get to some of the shit we was talking about. Now, we were talking about uh, you know, this wins and losses. You know, S4G says he thinks it's fire. You know what I think about it. And he says, you know, hey, he on the right track. So, that I mean, that's love. I mean, he's going to give an unbiased opinion. So, I think wins and losses about to be fire. We know that. We've been listening to them snippets. We know this shit about to be lit. You know what I'm saying? I think we looking at an epic me personally, I think we look at a classic. This is going to be a classic album. Now, another thing I want to touch on today, right? I wanted to touch on the fact that there's been a lot of industry fuck shit. You've been hearing me bitching and complaining all day. I've been going off all day. I woke up this morning, have my coffee, going live in the backyard, complaining. It's been some fuck shit going on. I mean, if you look at it, you can tell that the machine is ramping up the anti meek propaganda. You got Shade Room putting up, you know, 
They ain't said nothing all about Meek all week, but now all of a sudden they putting up uh, negative freaking posts. You see Complex News got your boy Summer Breeze back out here, right? Summer Breeze back on the scene making uh, videos about Drake and Take Care 2 and shit we don't give a damn about because Meek's album's coming. What's, what's up with Meek album? Why you ain't reporting on Meek album, right? That's album of the summer. We know that's about to be fire, right? So these are the type of games. What I was trying to tell y'all, these are the kind of games that the machine can play when they want to suppress the, the overall potential of a project, of an artist. These are the type of things that they pull, right? So you got you to gotta be able to see through the BS. You got to be able to see through the BS, man. And like I was telling, like I was saying to S4G, man, they trying to, they trying to get rid of the street MC. They trying to get rid of the street MC, dog. That's what they doing. They want us to be listening to, I told you, they want us to be listening to these goddamn Skittleheads guys. They want us to be listening to these guys that got ghost writers. They don't want real street MCs, street based MCs who come from the hood that talks about the struggle. Right? They don't want that. They don't want that in the game. They're trying to eliminate it. And like it or not, the top street MC mainstream is Meek. He represents the street mainstream MC. So he's a target. Uh, he's an easy target because of, you know, some situations that happened in the past with some high profile industry favorites. I'll put it that way. I'll just say industry favorites. Uh, so the button has been pushed. We see it. However, Meek is putting in mad work, man. He's putting in, he's got fire music. He's got a fire movie coming. He dropping part by part. That shit fire. How, what do y'all, let me know in the chat room what y'all think about wins and losses movie. That shit fire. Right? He's putting the material out. That he needs to put out. Right? He's got the material. What we got to do as a fan base. Another another uh, key point of this, this live stream tonight is that I want to reiterate how important it is for the COP5 movement. COP5. We got to cop as many of these wins and losses CDs. And downloads, we can, right? We got to cop as much of this shit as we can for the culture. Otherwise, we got to change the narrative. This is our opportunity to change the narrative away from these hip-hop artists into real street hip-hop. Now, that's why Cop 5 is important. That's why you see the hand up there cop five we gotta get this shit going we got to it's not a choice it's not an option it's not a game i'm not doing this for fun it's necessity if we don't do this i'm telling you we won't meet to succeed in order for me to succeed he's got to get those numbers right he's got to get the numbers to succeed, the record, you know, you gotta sell records. Selling records, if he sells the records he needs to sell that he should sell, it's gonna change the game. So we gotta, we gotta, as Meek fans, we gotta spread the word. I know you guys have been doing a good job. You've been spreading the word. You've been telling people you know. You you pre-ordered the album. However, we gotta do more. I'm copping five to six at records. I already got one on pre-order. I'm getting five hard copies. When I get my five hard copies, I'm taking pictures, I'm putting it on the gram. You're going to see Big Dream is is leading by example. I'm getting my five copies. I got people I'm going to give them to. You know, first day the record drop, I'm going to the record store, get the hard copies. I already got the uh, download coming, I'm pre-ordered. So we got to put in that work if we want our artists to win. That's real talk. Anyway, <laughs> we also got... 
some other information for you guys. Yep. Uh, YRAJB. Cop. Hashtag five cop. You got to flip that five around. Cop five. Well, you, good job. Uh, you feel me? We got to cop five. If you get three, if you get four, I'm not going to be mad at you. Well, we got to cop as many copies of this record as we can. We got one week. Thursday, Friday is the drop. You know, the album's going to drop. Thursday night at mid. Well, Thursday. Well, you might as well say Friday, right? Midnight on Thursday night, right? Album's going to hit pre-order. The hard copies hopefully will be in the store Friday. I'm hoping. If they are, I'm going to check. I'm going to Best Buy. Grab me five copies. But we got that whole week, that whole week, we need to be spreading the word, spreading our, our uh, what we feel about the album so people can see it. Maybe they'll go copy too. We got to spread the word to make this album push the numbers it needs to push. We got to get meat to number one for sure. And we got to get them to hit, you know, I see a lot of you guys in the chat room. Y'all tell me how many y'all want them to sell. Most people are like, I want 400000 500 Shit, let's get it. Shit, let's push them to a million. I wish we could. If we had the numbers, we would. But we need to push them to, you know, three, at least 300000 400000 if we can. That's real talk. So spread the word. Let people know what's going down. Right? We're going to get this shit popped. Shout out to S4G, man. Thanks for coming on. Shout out to North Philly. Shout out to West Philly. Shout out to South Philly, Northeast Philly, Camden, the whole Philadelphia area. That was love, man. I fuck with, I've been fuck with S4G for damn near, you know, seven, eight months, man. He dropped a track. That shit was dope. I put it out. We've been fucking with each other ever since, man. I fuck with S4G. He one of the bloggers I fuck with, right? Because he keeps it real. He, he spits facts. He unbiased, you know? He do his thing. He got his own style with the shit. He do it his way. So I fuck with S4G. Shout out North Philly. Shout out Gilly the Kid. I'm checking out that Blood Brothers. S4G's in it. Make sure you check that Blood. If you ever seen the Blood Brothers movie, check it out. I fucks with Gilly, so I'm going to check that shit out. Anyway, let's see. What else we got? Your boy, DJ. Where he's up there in the corner, right? Which corner? Up there? Nope. He's over here. Oh, no. He's over there. DJ Wackademics, right? DJ Wackademics. If you follow me on Instagram, you see I've been posting some shit, right? I've been posting the shit, right? Um, DJ Wackademics. There was a new video came out with some old tape, but it was chopped up. They chopped out all the insignificant parts and just put the real sound bites on it. I put it on my Instagram. It's got the Instagram on fire. And the reason I think this is important, because you guys as Meek fans and hip hop fans, you need to know what this guy think of you. This guy think of you as broke losers. He think of you as losers because you follow Meek. He feels... He said that Meek ain't relevant. That's what he said. Out of his mouth. He can't say nobody put words in his mouth. He said it. If you go to my Instagram, you can hear the... I got his four videos, right? One minute a piece. Where he's he's in his basement on his Henny or Bacardi, whatever he's drinking. Because, you know, he get on that Henny. He in the video game chair playing, you know, Call of Duty. Once he do that, he gets lit. He's lit. And he's screaming like, God damn, like he wants to, you know, like he want to catch a fake. You know, like he on site. The way he was screaming, I'm like, whoa, when you get this tough, check those videos out. Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, at Dream Chaser Source, the videos are on my Instagram page. You need to know what this guy thinks. The reason why. You got to see the hatred in his eye. And then he talks about Drake. He looks like he's catching an orgasm. He, oh, Drake, oh. Like, I, I'm serious. I'm not joking. You got to see the video. The guy look like he having an orgasm. When he talk about Drake, I'm like, damn. Where they do that at? That's, you know, that's a little questionable. 
<laughs> These suckers, man. This dude like you having an orgasm, right? So, you know, academics is what he do. You know, throw rocks, hide his hands. So when you when I'm going at this guy, I don't want to see nobody in the chat room tell me to chill out again. Because it's reasons. There's a reason I started this channel. There's a reason I go at this, these clowns as hard as I do. First of all, they paid part of the agenda of the powers that be to somehow sully the reputation of Meek and his career and what he stands for. He stands for all the right things when it comes to hip hop. This is what hip hop's founded on, right? You know, so they're trying to destroy that. We can't let that happen. We can't. This guy making fire music. We can't let it happen. This guy is a shining example to his whole city, the kids. He gives them hope. He gives kids hope in other cities, Detroit, Chicago, Milwaukee, wherever. He's giving us hope, Baltimore. We got to we got to represent and this ain't the time to be lazy. This ain't the time to be cheap. You can if you can't scrap up 30 to 40 to 50 dollars you need to reanalyze your life, man. Go get a job at, at McDonald's. Go get a temp job and work for a week and then quit. <laughs> get one check. I used to do that when I was young. Go get a job, work for a week, get a check, quit. We got to do something. Because you see, if you watch those videos, I know TJ Williams, you've seen them, right? You follow me on Instagram, right? TJ Williams, shout out. Shout out to Bornazine M. If you've seen the videos on my Instagram, you see... The reason why we need to step it up, you see the reason why I go so hard, because I know what these clowns think about me. And they too pussy. He, academics, is too pussy to say that to his face. But he says it, and he's trying to spread his message. So we got to, as Meek fans, we got to band together. We need y'all to come join the channel, join the movement. We got to support this album. And it shouldn't be hard to support it because the shit fire. Right? That's what we got to do. So, that's uh, that's the message I want to get out today. That's my rant for the day. Right? I want to make sure we understand how important it is to push this album to the top. Cop 5. We got to push it to the top. Right? We got to. We got to. The fake dudes are running the internet. They running the music industry. We got to take it back to what hip-hop was. We got to get it back to the essence. For real. We want to hear lyrics. We want to hear uh, good beats. We want to hear rhymes. That makes sense. So, it is what it is. It is. I'm taking the line for S4G. Shout out S4G. He was on earlier. It is what it is, right? I started saying, I, I watch S4G too much because I started saying that shit. <laughs> I be watching his, his blogs. I'm like, it is what it is. I started saying, I, sorry, S4G, let me borrow that, man. <laughs> but yeah, we got to support this album on a serious note. We got to support the freaking album. Because if we don't, we hurt our own artists if we don't support the album. We're not hurting the we're not hurting the industry. They trying to stop them. We hurting our own artists. And I know you like that fire music. So we got if we want fire music, we gotta support me. We gotta support Ross. We gotta support these fire artists if we want good music. Otherwise, we stuck with this shit. You'll be you'll be listening to country music in a few years because you don't want to listen to the hip hop. It's gonna be garbage. Right? That's what's that's what we're facing. That is what we are facing. So uh, you know, we got we gotta step it up, we gotta get it going. Um yeah, shout out to Meek Mill Exclusives. We need to prove this brainwashing industry wrong. You're right, they brainwashing these consumers. And they putting out trash and they trying to brainwash you into falling for the trick. Falling for the okie doke. If you ever falling for the banana in the tailpipe. If you ever 
You ever seen uh, Beverly Hills Cop, right? That's what they're doing. They're trying to get you to fall for the banana and the tailpipe trick. Whack artists with pre-manufactured music. We don't want that. We don't want that. No. It, 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 we don't want it. We want, we want real music, and we got it coming. July 21st, real music is making a comeback. We got it. This is like an election, right? We got to go to the polls. You know, in the election, you got a candidate you want. You're like, damn, I don't want that guy. In there. You, you either got a candidate you want or you got a candidate you don't want getting in there. So, I don't care if Meek is the candidate you want. I know you're a Meek fan. I'm just using an analogy. Or you don't want to be saddled with garbage music for the next five years. You need to go to the polls. Best Buy, Walmart, Target. What other record? What other places you can get records nowadays? I don't even know. I go to Best Buy or Target or whatever. Whatever store you go to, go cop the album. Cop as many as you can. We're going to push this shit to number one. And then we're going to sit back. We're going to push it to number one. And then on 728, 729, when them numbers come out, we're going to sit back, pop a cork. I'm going to have me a whole bottle of Ciroc up here. And we're going to party like it's 1999 off that wins and losses. When he when the first week numbers come in. We got to make it happen. It's up to us. Meek's done his part. He's put the music out. It's up to you now. So rally the troops. We got to do this. This ain't a time for separation. It's time for us coming together. All those Meek Mill sites on Instagram. I don't. I know. Shout out to Meek Mill exclusive. I know he comes in here. Y'all should be in here too. We got to stick together. We got to formulate and strategize on the same accord. Because you see... You see what suckers like academics about. He let you know what he about. Matter of fact, don't take my word for it. Don't take my word for it. Take his. Take his. This is what he thinks about you. Nigga, what? I said, my nigga, me can't relevant. I'm telling y'all facts. Tape and record and put it out. Me can't relevant. I put I put him on my page as much as I do because I try to be fair. Drake is the hottest in the motherfucking world. All them fucking stand pages he got, why don't they build a platform? You know why? Because they fucking suck. None of them got no talent. None of them could hold an audience. None of them could actually cultivate what I did. That goes for all these niggas. Why you ain't posted like 20 minutes ago? I'm like, what the fuck? Yo, get your, get your stand ass on out of here, nigga. It's a bunch of bums. Yo, I seen one of these niggas that on one of these Meek Mill fan pages broke, ugly. Yo, I was looking at this shit like, are you kidding me? This is a nigga who's harassing. The hits keep coming. Check this out. This is from a day ago. It's from 18 hours ago. No, it's not from five minutes. So I'm looking at this shit like these motherfucking disrespectful, irrelevant niggas. Nobody's thinking about me. Unless that nigga's name is mentioned with Nicki Minaj, he don't get posted on Shade Room. How dare y'all niggas come up in my comments talk about... <laughs> This is old fuck out of here, nigga. Who cares if that nigga's in the studio? Who the fuck cares if Meek is in the studio? Be honest. Who cares if Meek is in the fucking studio? Who? Who? Not me. Not me. 80% of the time when I post Meek is bullshit. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> like, let me tell you the stuff I post about Meek. And that's what I'm telling you. That's why it pisses me off with it stand so much. Like Drake's shit today. Drake and Meek ain't on the same level, you fucking idiots. They're not. Yo, there's two choices. 
don't post me at all, shit on me. Because I could do that easily. I could do it. Do y'all realize I can shit on Meek easily? Yo, yo, flat out, Meek not relevant, bruh. I'm telling y'all the facts. Meek not relevant. But I post Meek on my pages out of the goodness of my heart. Think I'm gonna post Meek? Think I don't give a fuck about Meek. I'm, and I'm still keeping a fair with these niggas. But they sensitive. Meek. Nikki. Oh, God damn. This dude hilarious. That shit was funny, dog. I fuck with that. Tell them, academic, tell them academics, you you tired and you ain't taking it no more. That motherfucker sound like a school shooter. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, any of you suckers in the chat room that want to tell me Big dream. Why you keep dissing academics? Big dream. Why you go so hard on academics? Play that shit back. Play this video back when you want to know why the fuck I go hard on this sucker. He just called you Meek fans bombs. Broke fucking bombs. Ugly bombs. Like he handsome. Wow. He just said Meek ain't relevant. To who? Relevant to who? He just said Drake's the hottest in the world when this motherfucker don't write his own goddamn rhymes. The guy's delusional. Wow. He act like he wants to uh, toss somebody, he wants to toss Drake's salad. You should see the one video where he like take lift off. He's like, oh, 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 be, oh, oh, Drake. I mean, I couldn't find that one. That one's funny. Like, he like he's having a damn orgasm when he mentions Drake's name. It's hilarious, right? Check the videos. They on Instagram. The guy's a straight sucker, man. I go hard. When I go hard on Casino, I mean, Carcino, whatever the hell his name is. When I go hard on DJ Wackademics, there's a reason. Big Dream ain't no bully. I don't, you know. I don't talk about people. I'm defending. I'm defending y'all. I'm defending Meek fans because he he went off on Meek fans. He went off on our artists too. He went off on Meek. He didn't just go off on Meek. He went off on you. And if you still supporting that motherfucker, uh, subscribe. To, uh, hey, you better than me. I, I unsubscribed a couple of a couple weeks ago. I was like, I can't. I don't want to see him no more. I'm tired of looking at his ugly ass face. I'm done. Since you want to call people ugly. That nigga sucker, man. And the shit needs to be out there because I hope Meek and the Chasers and everybody know exactly when he throw rocks and hide his hand, when he acts like, oh, I'm just not showing Meek because of this. No, the nigga feeling himself. He feeling himself. He just told you why he don't do Meek because he feeling himself and he feels like he's bigger he feel like he bigger than Meek. Meek ain't relevant. You saying Meek ain't relevant? Nigga, you, my nigga, you a YouTuber. Just like the rest of us. You've been doing it longer. That's it. You've been doing it five years. You one of the first to do what you do. But don't feel yourself, nigga. You ain't, you ain't more relevant than these rappers. If it weren't for rappers, you wouldn't have shit to talk about, you sucker. If it weren't for Meek, you wouldn't have nothing to talk about. These motherfuckers, man, I'm telling you. That's why I go so hard. That's why I started this channel. I saw that fucking shit. I was like, I'm going to start a channel. I'm a, I'm a DC fan. I'm a Meek fan. I'm an MLG fan. And I'm tired of these suckers, man. That's why I started this channel. I don't want, I don't want suckers like that taking over the game. You know what I mean? I don't. I ready to fuck with real niggas. You see who I bring on here? I don't want to fuck with guys like that. Academics need to be eliminated from the game. He don't know shit about hip-hop. He don't know shit about hip-hop, and he act like he's the authority on hip-hop. What the fuck? How does that... How, where do they do that at? Right? I mean, come on. Come on. 
Come on, my nigga. I ain't got to rant and scream and jump up and down. When I rant, this is my rant. I ain't about to scream. That motherfucker got like he was having a heart attack. I ain't got time for that. But the shit these suckers be on, man, I'm telling you. It's an industry plot bought, paid, and funded by certain actors, certain people in this industry, certain organizations are funding this shit. They're funding this clown. They're funding the shade room who dropped that. I don't know if you saw my Instagram. The shade room dropped some, some shit on me today out of the blue. Like, what, what? They ain't said shit about his album coming out, but they could drop some bullshit, some hate. They're trying to they're trying to muddy the waters so he's not as successful. We got to see through that. We got to keep pushing. Like, uh, shout out to Wilson in the uh, chat room. He says, buy five copies. Hell yeah, we got to cop five. Buy five copies. Buy five copies. If you buy five copies, take a picture and post them shits on my Instagram so I can see them. Or post them, post them on your Instagram. Tag me. I want to see them. We got to do this. I'm about to get my... Tell you, I'm get, we only got, God damn, we got 25 and a half hours to wins and losses is on Apple. What? That shit coming. 25 and a half more hours, we about to have it. And then the next day, you know, after that, that morning, the CD should be in, the physical copy should be in the store, I'm hoping. So we got we to gotta cop five when the physical copies hit. Pre-order the uh, digital copy if you're able to, if you have the means, you know, you have the uh, technology to do so. So we got, you know, we got to get it going. We got to get it popping. This shit is crucial. As a Meek fan, this is most, this is the most important moment of his career right here. This is the most important moment of Meek's career. This is make or break. This is where he could go. This is where me could go from a good rapper to a great rapper if we support. We got to buy the album. Tell everybody about the album. Spread the word. Watch the videos on YouTube. Make comments. Go play. Wherever you go, let people know Meek's coming. You got to help me out. Help me promote. I'm one man. I can't do it all. I need your help. I'm a fan just like you. Six, seven months ago, I was just like you. I was in these chat rooms. I, I wasn't doing this. I'm doing it now. And I did it because you know why? Something had to be done. I did this shit. Something had to be done. Wasn't nobody else going to do it but me. Nobody had the balls to do it. So we're going we gonna to get this shit popping. DC fans. Meat Mill fans. MMG fans. We're going we gonna to push meat to the top. And then when he's at the top, when Ross drop his album, we're going to push Ross to the top. We got to support our artists, man. We got to. You see what these suckers think? These suckers think record sales mean the artist is the dopest. No. Apple bought half them shits. Universal bought the other half. <laughs> it don't matter. Like that streaming shit, they rigged the game. And they rigged. They rigged the game and they rigged the field. They they inflated the balls. Like, you know, people hate on my patrons and say they deflated the balls. Apple, Universal, they deflated the ball and they rigged the fucking game. It's rigged. You've been bamboozled. You've been hoodwinked. You've been led astray. Just because you sell records that the record company buy half of them for a few million dollars don't mean you the best in the game if you can't rap. If your music sucks, if I buy your CD and like five days later it's a drink coaster, right? If I buy your CD and like less than a week later I got my, hold on. My drink coaster, that don't mean you're the hottest in the game. You sold a bunch of records because a bunch of idiots went out and bought that track. The best in the game means you got the best music. The best music that's going to last the longest amount of time. When you listen to Pac, Pac died 20 years ago. You still listen to Pac. You know why? Because he made the best music. If you listen to Biggie today, Biggie died 20 years ago. 
but you still listening to it. You listen to Reasonable Doubt? Reasonable Doubt was dropped 20 years ago. And you, some people are still listening to it today. It don't matter what it sold. Reasonable Doubt came out only when gold. It took t 10 years ago platinum. But people still listen to it today. It's a classic. That's what record sales don't do for you. Record sales don't make your album a classic. And having a million YouTube followers don't make you a man. It don't even make you half a man. So that's what I'm going to leave you with. That's the bottom line. But we got it. We got it. You know, we got to support our guy, man. I love you guys. Meek fans are the coolest dudes in the world, man. I call LB. Shout out LB. I saw you in the chat room, LB, when I was doing the interview. I call LB today. He'll tell you. I just called him out the blue. Like, what's up, LB? We talked for like an hour. <laughs> uh, I feel like I know him for all my life. I, I just called him up. We just talked. Meek fans are, you know, y'all some of the coolest people in the world, man. I fuck with y'all. We always fuck with each other. So it's what it is. We got to, we got to bring it home now. Bring it home for our guy. We good. We can laugh at these suckers, man. We be laughing at academics. Y'all y'all control the shit out of them after that shit. That shit sell three, four hundred thousand copies. Y'all control the shit out of them. Like, ah, oh, sucker. What? We got number one out. Thought he wasn't relevant. We got to push this shit. We got to push this shit to platinum. We got to go. We're going to get it done. Because the music fire. Word of mouth going to spread. Just make sure you spread the word. Make sure you play that shit around people. And say, look, you need to go get this. Do your part and we'll get that shit going. Shout out to Johnson Morgan in the chat room. You fucking sucker. <laughs> tell your mama. Tell your mama she a L. <laughs> I love these trolls, man. They got suckers everywhere. You come out of your, your way to come into a meat meal chat and hate. It makes you feel good, don't it? Your mama's career over is a hoe. <laughs> oh, you hey, you know big dream. I, I'm down for the I'm down for the fuckery, man. I'm down for the bullshit. I'm on that. <laughs> BK Johnson Morgan, what a troll. Hey Johnson. Watch this. <laughs> he go. <laughs> Fucking troll. Tell your mama to uh, grow her dick back. Anyway. <laughs> this big dream. What's up? Chat room. Talk to me. What questions y'all got for me? I'll let your boy. I seen somebody saying that... Uh, Meek may be on Everyday Struggle Friday. Where are y'all hearing that from? I haven't heard that. Good Lord. It's a picture on here. Shout out Meek Mill Philadelphia, man. You got a picture on your Instagram? God damn. Good Lord. I don't know who that is. Shout out. Shout out your boy. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Johnson Morgan is gone, man. He gone. There is no Friday. It ain't no Friday show. Y'all talking about he going to be on a Friday. That's a joke, right, Meek Mill School? So, who, who came with that? Said, Meek going to be on Everyday Struggle Friday. That's a good one. They don't even have a Friday show. <laughs> you know he ain't going up there, especially with those videos that just mysteriously circulated around Instagram. I don't think, uh, I don't think they want to, I don't think uh, a certain employee is going to want to be there. He should have kept his goddamn mouth shut. He'll be all right. You know, but hey, it is what it is. He ain't, he ain't going to be. <laughs> ah, it's a Monday. It's on Monday. They not. He's not going to be on there, man. I don't believe he's going on that show. That show. I don't want to go on that network anyway. Complex ain't promoted Meek at all this whole week. They had a lady on there today. I'm like. She don't, what the fuck she know about hip hop? Like, what the hell is she doing on here? It made no fucking sense whatsoever. I'm like, damn, dog. Like, what's the point? They had a lady on there, and I'm like, her name was Issa or whatever. You know, Issa, you guys know what I'm talking about. They had her on there. I'm like, what's the point? 
You know what I mean? What's the fucking point? So, I don't know, man. I do not know what is going on here. But it is what it is, man. Like, they ain't hip-hop no more. They, they, it's supposed to be a hip-hop show. They talking about TV shows and people with their shirt off and all this. You know, people getting peed on. All that. It's just stupid stuff, man. What kind of... That show garbage. That's that academic shit. You know, he whack. They better shake. They they better shaking my head. I want Meek Mill exclusive shout out. I want Meek to go on there and be like I'll slap academics if y'all caught ways of losses. No man, we don't want Meek catching Meek. We don't need him in them situations. He needs to just avoid it. He needs to just avoid that shit. I, I wouldn't mind him going to Breakfast Club because I don't think Charlemagne gonna do nothing. He just you know he ain't gonna do nothing. But with academics, you just you see him, you want to slap him. You know, he don't need that kind of pressure. Let them suckers. They ain't talked about his album all week, right? Just go to the places where you love. You don't you don't go out your way to go places where you not wanted. You that's just like if you you don't go places you not wanted. You go places where you want it. Go to Hot 97. They'll love to have him. Go to you could go talk to self. You know, there's stuff he can do. He don't have to go to that show. That show whack anyway. Fuck academics. Shit whack. You know, they're talking about goddamn people with their shirt off. When when they show Drake with his shirt off, he only like he busted a nut, man. It's, it's fucking sickening. It's ridiculous. It's sickening for a man to act like a girl. Like, he, it's sickening. It is what it is. Complex Associates says they filmed today. Who who was there? Was the academics there? Big Dream, you should go on Everyday Struggle and discuss the media bias. Man, fuck Everyday Struggle. I'll never go on that show. I'll never go on that show. I'm too real for I'm too real for goddamn Everyday Struggle. Fuck them. I go flex. <laughs> fuck them niggas. Big <laughs> He's the same one who said Meek would be on today, Farzan. Man, that dude a fake. Meek ain't going on that show. Meek Mill School, stop it, man. I'm trying to trying to save you. Stop it. He don't need to go on that shit. They recorded that today to air tomorrow. Meek will film today, tomorrow, and air Friday. I kid you not. They recorded 21 today. Meek Mill exclusive. There's no Friday show. So how can he be filmed and air tomorrow? There's no, there's no Friday show. Trump 2017, shut your black ass up. Are you racist? Shut your black ass up. You wear a ski mask because you're scared to show your fucking face, you punk ass meek stand. Your mama should show her face. <laughs> she said that. I told her that last night when I was spanking her. <laughs> he gone. <laughs> Academics sending soldiers in here. Fuck them niggas. Send them more. Send more of them. Give me some more views, sucker. <laughs> hey, TJ Williams, ego. That's my new saying. I'm going to get that shit on, uh, on vocal so I can play it when I boot these suckers out of here. Ego. Uh, bro, ignore him. He's a hater. He just got a page dedicated to hating on me. Who is that? Who you talking about, Meek Mill exclusives? <laughs> you ain't got to worry about he He gone. <laughs> hey TJ Williams his mom is a mix between a sheep and a, and a freaking goat <laughs> TJ he gone uh, Matt Farina 100 shout out Matt Farina where you from Matt let me know where you from TJ it, was it a melody mm, let me see what are you talking about uh, Ab Abornazine M he sent my comment on part 3 video stating most people that don't like me are racist Man, yeah, that's possible that's possible the academics is a coon ass motherfucker so maybe they follow him who knows uh, Nigel non meek ain't doing less than 150 man fuck 150 we need 300 
Y'all need to buy five. Cop five. Get the word out. We got to put some numbers, man. Come on. What y'all doing? Talking about 150. What is, Nigel, hey, I'm going to boot Nigel ass out. I think Nigel a troll. Because every time you come here, you talking about some old low ass numbers. 100, 150. Nigel, you've been warned. Straighten up. <laughs> Get it together. Get your shit together. You're going to be banned. Uh, Matt Farino, Jersey. Shout out to Jersey. What part of Jersey? Shout out to Jersey. Lump Mac. He was on at Meek Mill News Instagram hating early today. Who y'all talking about? Y'all still talking about that Trump guy? He gone. Y'all ain't got to talk about him no more. He gone. ZZD, wait. How much did Dreams Were More Than uh, Money sell? I think Dreams Were More Than Money sold like 246000 the first week. 246000 I think. Overall, with pre-orders and everything. If Meek does 250 that would outsell Jay-Z and still won't be good enough. 250 will be a good first week, but I want them to sell hmm. three, four. We need to push that shit. Cop five. The album is fire. It's the best album, bar none, you're going to hear this year. It's better than Kendrick's album. It's better than J. Cole. More Life is trash. Jay-Z album was okay. I'm a, I'm a guy that grew up on Jay-Z music. I mean, he, he has some jewels. I love the lyrics, but the production to me, eh. The replay value. When you talk about an album, you got to have a replay value. Jay-Z's lyrics were fucking dope. When I first heard it, when y'all saw my review, what the first thing I said? Hey, the lyrics were fucking amazing. He talked about some real shit, some educational shit. A lot of these dumb fucks out here in the game were like trying to rebel against him. He trying to educate you dumb motherfuckers. But, you know, I'm okay with that because I, I feel what he's saying. He was saying some real shit. But I can't play. I ain't even play, I ain't played that shit in like a week. <laughs> uh, the replay value. That's what you got to have. Replay value. Meek's about to give you replay value. We still bumping DC4. We still bumping Dreams of Money Money. We still bumping Dreams and Nightmares. You still going to bump wins and losses five years from now. So replay value. Meek's going to drop fire. Lump Mac, the Trump nigga's Instagram name is Open Curry Glock. Oh, you know he racist. You know the first thing he said was your black ass. I'm like, dude, you racist? That's the he must be a Drake fan. They racist, right? <laughs> Fuck that nigga, man. His mama fucked the goat last night. Fuck him. Oops, I don't know if I should have said that, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, Nick Pat's interview in a little bit over an hour. That's good. That's good shit. Big dream uh, versus academics. Matt Farina, more life was trash. More life wasn't trash. More life was weed plate. More, more life was drink coaster. It was sewer water. It was regurgitated filth. <laughs> okay, it was trash. Uh... Lunt Mac, I'm from West Philly, live in North Well too. I've been bumping me since grade. Shout out West Philly, Lunt Mac. I stayed in West Philly for a little bit with my cousin. My cousin moved there. I stayed there for about eight, nine months, almost a year. I used to visit him. Uh, Cobbs Creek, 59th and Addison. You know what that said if you're from West Philly. Shout out West Philly. Shout out South Philly. Shout out. North Philly, Northeast Philly, Southwest Philly, everybody. Shout out the whole Philly. Temple University. Um, the one with Quavo is dope. That you talking about ball player, that's dope. Safari. Safari Bolt. The fake Safari Bolt is in the chat. Follow me on my Me Kate page at Fuck Me Mills. Let me check it out, Safari Bolt. <laughs> Oh, I love these trolls, man. This shit fun. Safari Bolt at fuckmeatmills.com. Where is it at? Is it on Instagram? I know you ain't Safari now, this fake page. <laughs> this guy got all these goddamn illnesses. That's Trump again. I'm about to... You look, I told you guys they got those guys with those bot accounts. They got like a hundred different names. Go by like Trump, Safari. Like this guy, he got like one of these bot. This he got like 20 accounts coming here trolling, hating on me. Hey, you in the wrong place, Safari Boat. 
fake Safari Boat. You're not the real Safari Boat. <laughs> I'm giving you five seconds to apologize to the chat room for just interrupting us. And uh, if you don't comply, I don't want to ban you forever because I like you coming in here because it's funny. I, it gives me my laugh for the day. But I will put your ass in time out. So you better repent, Safari Boat. Uh, he's, I know he's a bot. These bots, they got the bots on me now. I must be doing something. You know you're moving up in the world when you got the bots on you. God damn, put the bots on me. Let's go. I'm with it. I'm with it. Uh, y R A A J B. Yo, that that's a far as a fan of me. He's a fan. How you ain't coming here talking that bullshit? Then he ain't no fan. He about to get banned. Hey, Y R A A J B. About to get banned. O V O accounts. <laughs> oh, y'all funny man. Where my boy, Mister Biggs? Biggs, where you at? I want to talk to Biggs tonight. You know what I'm saying? Let me see if I can get somebody on the line here. Where my boy at? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where my boy Mr. Biggs at? Okay. Safari Boat. You gone. He gone. <laughs> oh shit. Safari, you gone, dog. <laughs> oh shit. These trolls, man, coming in my chat. Sorry, sorry about the noise. I was trying to call Mr. Biggs. I guess he ain't available. Don't, hey, TJ, don't worry about our uh, Safari Boat. He gone. You want to do it? <laughs> oh, man. Safari, come back. No, you can't. <laughs> oh, this shit too much fun. Anyway, you know what I might do? I'm going to... You got you guys want to hear some music? You know what I'm about to do? I'm about to end this chat, end this interview chat session. Don't you can rewind it back. I had S4G in the beginning uh, of the interview chat. Uh, you know, shout out to S4G. Thanks for coming on. You know that was a good look, man. Much success to you, brother, in what you're doing. Um, I like your blog, dog. I watch your video. You know I come in there liking your shit, posting shit, man. So shout out to SWOG. I've been fucking with him since the Cheerio days, man. The Cheerio days, man. That shit dope. Make sure y'all bump that Cheerios. He got he has it up on YouTube. It's on my channel too. Uh, but yeah, I might wrap this up. Take a, a small smoke break. Hold on. Can we get a motherfucking moment of silence? For a small chronic break. <laughs> I may take a small smoke break. Hey, look at it. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to take a small smoke break. I'm going to come back. We're going to play some music. What do y'all think about that? I'll come back. We'll do DC Live Part 2. We'll rock out with some music. And hopefully we can get somebody on the air to talk to a little bit later. Uh, but look at this guy. This guy say he's got 200 accounts. <laughs> hey, let's track account number four. How about that? <laughs> hey, this is what I'm telling you guys. Look, you got these bots. These are the same motherfuckers who go and meet. These are the same dudes that go go and meek uh was going to meek instagram going lll they got like two three hundred accounts dog it's a plot it's these companies they pay these motherfuckers to do this that's fine because i'm with that bullshit you know i'm a clown so i can laugh all day and block your ass every 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 bot account you bring in here i'm gonna send your ass right out <laughs> it is what it is right shout out s4g hey 
I'm going to end this. And I'm going to come back. Give me a little. I got to take a little small smoke break. You know how your boy do, right? I'm come back in here lit. I'm going to come back in here litty. And we're going to get litty. I'm going to do part two. Part two of DC Live. Matter of fact, I might switch it over. I'm going to do Big Dream World. The music. Right? But um, I just wanted to get my point across to you guys. We had the interview from S4G. It was a good episode. And uh, you guys be back in here in about 15 to 20 minutes. We're going to get lit with some goat meat meal. And we're going to do some more discussion. And hopefully we can get somebody on the phone. You know, one of you guys got Skype. You want me to Skype you? I'll Skype you and get you on the air. We'll do all that. All right? So we're going we're gonna to come back in about 15, 20 minutes. Make sure you subscribe to my new channel, Big Dream World. Hey, bot boy, you can do it too. <laughs> I don't care. If you want to subscribe, bot, you can. Uh, subscribe to DC Source. Check me on IG at Dream Chase Source. Check me on Twitter at D Chase Source. I'm going to be back in about 15, 20 minutes after a small recess. And we're going to get lit. Anyway, this big dream, I'll be back in a minute.